Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So Nicki Minaj continues to dominate the charts. So it was reported by Paola Board and Chart Data that Nicki Minaj broke the record for the biggest streaming day for a female rapper on Paola Fire across all credits on December 9th. Okay, so congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Nicki also went live. Nicki Minaj also stepped out to do some promo finally for Pink Friday 2. Um, she was seen at the Joan Budden um, studio. I guess they're doing a podcast. Um, I'm not really here for that. I think Joe Budden, sometimes his interviews could be boring. I just feel like he's not going to ask the questions that I really want him to ask. Usually, if he's cool with a person, he doesn't ask the right questions, okay? Which makes sense, but at the end of the day, you're still conducting an interview with an A-list superstar, okay? Who doesn't do many interviews. Um, and then she was seen at the Mark and Kelly um, show. Um, that was, you know, canceled and rescheduled. Okay, so she's still doing the Mark and Kelly show. And also, she is teaming up with J. Cole again. Um, there has been speculation that she will be performing at Dreamville in North Carolina because she had put Dreamville on her tour as a place she will stop and perform at. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Maybe her and J. Cole will be performing together. Um, they can perform um let me calm down. That would be amazing. Okay. Um, no shade to Nikki, but J. Cole ate her up on that song. No shade to Nikki. But J. Cole, he did his thing on Let Me Calm Down. Is the chart predictions came out for um next week um for the Paola Hot 100 and fans are talking about Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday, two singles on the album not being on the charts, okay? Um, a lot of fans are upset about this. They're not understanding how is she going gold, but none of the singles are going to be on the charts. And even for, you know, Doja, when she dropped her album, she definitely ain't doing over 100K like Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is at least doing 200,000 first week. Okay. And I think that she'll probably do at least 250 first week. Um, and so Doja, who's not even doing nowhere near that, she had a few songs that were on Paola Hot 100 when her album dropped. Now, the only two that are left is Agora Hills and The Town is Dead thanks to her radio play. But a lot of fans are not understanding why Nicki Minaj's, you know, um, singles, none of them are going on Paola Hot 100. And people got to understand, radio and playlisting count more than sales. And so all the artists that are in the top 20, they have radio, okay, and playlisting. Okay, there's only one song that doesn't really have a lot of radio, and I think it's the Chart Obsessed Racist song. Um, that she just dropped. So with that being said, Republic got to do their part. Okay. They're sleeping. Um, everybody deserves to be on radio. That needs to be in the clubs. That needs to be heard at parties. And so, um, I think the barbs, you guys got to DM Republic. Don't tell them I sent you snitches get stitches, but everybody needs some radio play and the charts do matter because Nicki Minaj talks about the charts and selling in her music, okay, all the time, even on Pink Friday too. Speaking of Doja Lamar, the bald head scallywag, um, she continues to troll Nicki Minaj at her most recent concert. Doja is trolling Nicki Minaj. She really don't give a fuck. She's like, listen, I already got the barbs. I'm topping the charts. Yeah, I used to, but so what? 
um, because you don't love Nicki. Stop it, Doja. Stop it. You definitely don't love Nicki Minaj. Okay. Um, you're just saying that. So the barbs think that you're being the bigger person and that despite Nikki putting you on blast for declining cowgirl, you still love her. I don't believe that at all. Okay. You was begging for a feature. You were saying, oh, she didn't go on planning her, blah, blah, blah. Then you declined her and then you've been trolling her ever since. You ain't shit. But listen, you know, she, she won up Nicki Minaj. She played a game. I'm like, stop mentioning Nicki on stage. Okay, she do that every show. I know it's part of the lyrics to the song. Get into it, yeah. But you really don't mess with Nikki like that. So why you keep putting on a facade? You've been caught already. You've been exposed because she wants y'all to think that she still loves Nikki, even though Nikki put her on blast. She really don't. She's playing the game. But moving on from that, Dolja Agora Hills is now eligible for platinum in the U.S. for selling over a million units in this country. Um, congratulations. I like Agora Hills, so I'm not going to hate on this because Agora Hills to me is a hit. I felt like it should have been the first single off of Scarlet. Um, so I can give, you know, props when props are due. You know, Agora Hills is a hit to me. I like that song. So I do think it deserves to be platinum, even though I really didn't care for the Scarlet album as a whole. I see some fans saying Scarlet is better than Pink Friday 2. That's a fucking lie. Stop being delusional. And people are saying, oh, Doja Cat, Scarlet is better because she didn't sample. What are you talking about? She sampled on The Town is Dead and on Agora Hills and on other songs too. I don't think people could really tell because the songs are really old you know, Dion Warwick, a lot of people may not know her. She's an icon, but she sampled her. Now, Criminal B is getting exposed left and right. Botched and divorced gets called out by Milan Christopher, um, who I believe he used to be on Love and Hip Hop and he was on Zeus. Um, he says something about the timing of this off the cheat and Cardi's cheating scandal. Don't sit right with me is giving distraction from Titanic Records to take away from the buzz and momentum of Nicki's new album. Then Colin Carter um, came to Cardi B's defense. I believe he is her stylist. Um, and he said that, you know, it's not PR um, or to distract us. He said this is a traumatic situation for Cardi B. Um, and he said that these conspiracies are nuts. Okay. So that's what, um, Colin Carter had to say, which to me, um, it's not a conspiracy. Cardi B has done this several times after WAP magically her and off to cheat break up. Then a few months later, she gets pregnant, um, right after up comes out. Okay. Um, you know, she also did a fake breakup back in 2019, 2018. She does the fake breakup for PR all the time. And I think that this one is fake too. I really don't believe that she has been single since October and just decided to tell us. Cardi B is a pathological liar and she'll do anything to get on top. She wants this to benefit her career so she can have a lemonade moment. Okay. And then I wouldn't be shocked in the next year she get knocked up. Okay, she's not fooling me. Okay, maybe if she hadn't lied in the past, people would believe her. But she always does this. So nobody believes her. And right before she announced that she and Off The Cheat were breaking up, Botched and Bitter also went on stage and said that she's coming hard in 2024. So, of course, this is for PR. I work my ass off for this shit. I wrote this song. When I reach, when I reach my most successful song, Borac Yellow. Yeah. And I love that feeling. I work my ass for this shit. I cry for this shit. And I will never let nobody take this shit from me. Never. 2024, I'm even coming harder. Okay, so she said that at the TikTok performance before she announced her split from off the cheat. Publicity. Lies. Now, moving on to John Cook um, and Scratch Off. They are nominated for the best digital song at the Golden Disc Awards in 2023. 
it seems to me that um, Scratch Off is getting all these awards because she linked to John Coop. That's what it seems like to me. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, Partisan Fontaine does an interview with Angela Yee. I think it's for lip service. And of course, he is talking about Megan Thee Stallion. Here's what he had to say. No, no, please, 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 please. Because, <laughs> Don't you but, do that. No, 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 because I really need to go there. I really, really do. Did you get I'm not, deflecting, somebody I'm not else. deflecting it. Did but, she catch you getting your set? Absolutely not. Okay. I, or are you intimate with somebody else while y'all, while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. You're saying you didn't cheat? Absolutely. But this is my thing, right? <laughs> okay. Is, is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Is that cheating? Well, what are these text messages? Well, I feel if like... If it's something that you got to hide from your partner, is it cheating? Right, and that's what I was going to say. I feel like anything, and I've, I've answered this plenty of times, I feel like anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating. So, did you cheat? In that regard, I, 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 I say so. You okay. know what I mean? So, but maybe it was inappropriate stuff but you did. But I would say inappropriate. inappropriate. correct, right? <laughs> okay. You're inappropriate, correct, but the way that it was painted out would have me so mad, I'm like... This is the part of the relationship after everything that took place, everything that was like kind of, you know, forgiven, everything that we've washed away, especially when nobody asked for this. This is what you want to go with. So Partisan Fontaine admits to cheating on Megan Thee Stallion, but he did not get his D sucked, but he was texting other B words. OK, he was texting other hoes and I'm sure Megan was texting other men, too. I definitely don't believe it was just party, but let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, Messy Lee, the blogger, um, accuses Queen B of snubbing black media um, and not inviting them to the Renaissance tour, threatens to expose her publicist and team with jaw-dropping receipts. Uh-oh, Queen B getting exposed. Maybe she can ask Rihanna for some help because, you know, he blackmailed Rihanna last year. Um, I have that tea on Patreon. So this is really not shocking to me. But um, Queen B and Camel Face are built differently. They're not as soft as Rihanna. And not going to give you exclusive baby pictures because you got tea on them. Um, what Queen B and Camel Face should do, they should blackball um, Messy Lee. Just how they blackballed Kerry Hilson. Okay, keep the same energy. He needs to be blackballed just like Carrie Hilson, A. Marie, and all the other people that y'all couldn't stand. And I hope it happens. I mean, he don't have no right to blackball Queen B. For what? Just because she didn't get invited to Renaissance Store? She's not Cardi B. She don't have to invite you nowhere. So it has been confirmed Clown Ye and Ty Nicholson will put out the new body song this Friday, um, which features Nicki Minaj um, to save their sucky careers okay no shade but clown yeah you should have put this out three years ago you ain't shit okay donkey of the date for you um for waiting three years now that you're black ball you want to put this out stop come on now anyway i got some hot tea on patreon link will be in the description i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys have an amazing day